Mars probably doesn't have enough available CO2 to do it. In other words, future terraformers would need to import gases in colossal quantities. Terraforming isn't an absolute impossibility in the philosophical sense, but the timescales and engineering levels involved push any scenario of large, vibrant colonies far beyond the foreseeable horizon. Until then, an unterraformed Mars will remain a hostile environment that, at best, might receive one or two human missions with a strong political strategic slant. I'll confidently bet we will visit Mars and come back home. And once the euphoria passes, we won't try again for a long while. The idea that a few incursions will, by inertia, blossom into settlements of hundreds or thousands of people denies the enormity of the challenges. Space travel will likely remain expensive, difficult, and dangerous for centuries. In that scenario, robots fill the gap. Colonial fervor is likely to lose strength over time, not for lack of courage, but for lack of purpose and cost-effectiveness.